Welcome to the Allen Institute for Brain Science Technical Tour. This tutorial will demonstrate the basic search and navigation features of the Allen Spinal Cord Atlas. To get to this atlas, click the Spinal Cord button from our portal page or click the Spinal Cord tab from any of our web pages. This atlas is genome wide and measures gene expression in adult and juvenile C57 black mice. Unlike the Allen Mouse Brain Atlas, where we have registered the gene expression into a representative three-dimensional space, so as to navigate simultaneously through the gene expression and brain structures, the Spinal Cord Atlas was manually curated. Our anatomist looked at the gene expression patterns of each gene and annotated the atlas to highlight enhanced expression. We have categorized the enhanced gene expression patterns in this search box here. To see a list of genes with enhanced expression in one of these categories, click on that link such as the gray matter. What gets returned is a list of experiments listed alphabetically by gene. This list gives you a brief summary of the kind of experiments that fall under your search criteria. The gene symbol, the gene name, the age of the mouse in this experiment, either P4 or P56, and a representation of the images that are available for this experiment. I'm going to take a brief aside to outline how these experiments were performed. Each spinal cord was divided into four sections and those sections were mounted on the same block. A single gene expression assay then captures 16 sections from a, both an adult spinal cord and a juvenile spinal column on the same slide. Back to the search returns page. In this representation, we show how many of the 16 sections actually have images, indicated by the green blocks and by the number of images in this final column. The next and final column indicates the sections that have enhanced gene expression represented by blue shading in that expression category. To see a legend of what each box represents, click on the blue question mark next to the column header and you will open a window with the Expression Enrichment Category chart. You can also hover your mouse over the blue boxes to see which category shows enriched expression. You can also do an advanced search, which will allow you to search for genes and limit your search by several other criteria. When you start to type a gene name or symbol into the search box, you will be given a list of suggestions. Click on a suggestion to bring up the relevant experiments. In this example, I've selected VAMP1. To look at the data in these experiments, click the selection box next to the experiments you want to see, and then click View Selections. You will be taken to a page with our zoom and pan viewers with all the experiments you chose. Each viewer has a film strip along the bottom of all the images in this experiment. Selecting one of the images in the film strip will load that image into the main viewer. You can zoom in and out with either the scroll wheel on your mouse or by pressing the A or Z keys. Panning is accomplished by clicking and dragging on the image. You can remove experiments by clicking on the X icon above the image. And you can look at either the ISH data, which is the default, or you can see the closest nissel stain in the spinal cord by clicking on this icon. Or you can take advantage of our expression mask view, which programmatically subtracts out the background and shows a false color image that indicates low expression in the blues and greens and high expression in the hotter, redder hues. To better localize the location of gene expression, you can also bring up our reference data sets in this window by selecting from the drop down menu here. I've added the annotated atlas, the reference nissel, and the reference acetylcholinesterase atlas. You can move the viewers around to optimize your workspace by clicking on the top banner and dragging the viewer to where you would like to see it. When you've found a region of the spinal cord with interesting gene expression patterns or intensities, you can sync the other viewers on this page to a similar position along the spinal cord to help you localize and identify this region. The Nissel and the acetylcholinesterase datasets can show you the set architecture, while the annotated atlas will label the region. In this example, the VAMP1 signal shows an interesting pattern which maps to what appears to be the TR9 region in the annotated atlas. If you're not familiar with our abbreviations, click the key icon in the banner of the annotated dataset and you will open a new window with our ontology that will show you the full names. The TR9 region refers to the triceps motor neurons of lamina 9. To get more experimental information, click on the eye icon in the gene expression banner. This will take you to a page with metadata on this experiment. From this page, you can go to the experimental images, see the experimental conditions, as well as go to other projects in the Allen Brain Atlas resources on this particular gene. You will also see a more detailed representation of the images available for this experiment. We also give you regions of enhanced expression for this gene, 
external links to research this gene, and the probe information including the sequence and the forward and reverse primers so you can create this probe in your own lab. If you're interested in downloading one of these images, launch a high resolution image viewer from this icon in the zoom and pan viewer. In a new window you will open up the image in a new viewer. You can zoom and pan in this viewer as well as use tools to navigate the different images including an image that indicates where in the spinal cord you're currently viewing. You can rotate your image, which is valuable when you want to download the image, also from this menu. We also provide a scale bar for you to determine the scale of the images you're looking at. Thank you for taking this tour. We'd like to acknowledge certain groups who funded this program and without whom it would not have been possible to build this resource. For more information, please go to our website at www.brain-map.org.